your eyes for a minute Close your eyes for a second I won't change my mind I'm way to welcome myself on YouTube today Welcome guys, welcome back my posh fam Thank you to my newest subscriber. I think we gained a few in the last couple of weeks. I just want to say thank you so much for coming on board the Porsche Farm Train. Again, just find your playlist. There is a few things on my playlist that would entertain you. Go through them and see what you like and please keep watching. For my regulars, my old um, diehard Porsche Farms, thank you for staying on. I do appreciate your show of support. As always, do not forget to continuously watch, comment, and like, as well as share this channel with your friends. Subscribe! Now, for some context regarding the YouTube shot that I posted not too long ago, referencing the vibration around my pelvic bone or my pelvic region, I did mention that the first time that I had experienced a vibration on my pelvic arm, um, um, area was when I had a tampon on and I'll explain this I don't really use tampon but again I wanted to have a feel experience what it feels like to have one in and on this particular day I had this lovely dress on for church and I just didn't want to have that um, feeling that I had a pad visible whilst I was going into church and so I got a pa tampon and I popped it on whilst I was in church and now I, I could Remember this, I can remember this vividly. Every time the musical instrument would go on, like they will have the drum or the piano, I would feel a vibration, a vibration or a vibrating sensation around my pelvic area. I actually thought it was my phone vibrating because of course when you are in church, your phone should be on silent. And so what I did was I took out my phone and I turned it off because it was becoming very annoying and it was constantly progressing in stages. And I was like, after turning on my phone, it happened again. And then the next thing, I was just feeling a little bit faint and sort of sick. And I kept vibrating, guys, literally. As soon as I got home, I took the tampon out. There was no more vibration. And so I just, in my head, linked it to the tampon use. And that was the last time your girl got a tampon on. Like, last time time <laughs> i think it was the always time i'm not sure those ones they sell back home i'm like never again would i use a tampon that experience left me traumatic it was it left me traumatized forever and then i mean decades after that incident we would say what is it mm, maybe not years after all right i had a baby I was pregnant in 2017 and I had my baby just towards the end of 2017 and I think three days postpartum I had a vaginal bed okay and guys I'm gonna tell you this if you are a first time mom pregnant and you're thinking about the options to go can I tell you just go for an elective caesarean section please don't don't bother traumatizing your pelvic bones. It's not worth the fuss. Okay? That is just my crazy advice. But you can always choose what you feel comfortable in. It's your body. It's your joy. It's the moment for you to experience motherhood. However way you choose to experience it, your choice. Anyway, a few days after delivery, I had gotten home. Again, I had all of the trauma from my baby being jaundiced. And so it was just all of that stress, lack of sleep. Got home, managing a crying baby that just would not settle. And the next thing I noticed was I kept having this vibrating sensation around my I can actually feel it right now as I'm talking to you. My pelvic bones are vibrating. I need help. Anyway, I felt the vibrating um, sensation around my pelvic bone. I just thought it was, okay, it's just mild. It kept on going. And of course, I could relate it with the trauma of just giving birth. I have, that's my, this is my first experience at having a baby. I haven't experienced it again. And so that trauma, I could relate it easily with the pelvic vibrating sensation that I was feeling. And that lasted for months because I know something as big as the size of a watermelon popped out from you. What are you expecting? Anyway, 
Now, I am still feeling this particular vibrating sensation. It stopped, guys. It stopped then because I had other issues post battle. Now, I'm not going to go into now. And four days, four days ago, I just experienced the first vibrating sensation again. I'm like, what is going on? It's, it started again. And like, it's an all too familiar feeling. And I said, okay, maybe it's just going to pass. Friday, still on. And I'm in my deep in my sleep. I could actually hear. It's I don't think it's a sound, but I feel like I'm I, right now as I'm talking to you guys. It is vibrating. I feel like I could actually. I mean, I could. I can hear it, but no, there's no sound. All I am feeling is a vibrating sensation around my pelvic area. My pelvic bones is vibrating literally. Okay, guys, it is vibrating. And I do not know what causes this. So, guys, I need your help. Doctors on this forum, if you know any doctors, if you've experienced this, come on the comment section and let us know. Share your, share, share your thoughts. I will definitely go see a GP if this persists. However, I just feel like I should be vulnerable and share this with you. This will be the first vulnerable moment that I'll be sharing. But seriously... I am vibrating, guys, and I don't have a vibrator on. <laughs> I need help. If you know what's causing this, someone I read on Dr. Google said stress. I don't know the level of stress that I'm in to exacerbate this particular vibrating sensation around my pelvic area. But again, I don't know. So, guys, I need answers, okay, before I lose my mind. Or start holding myself whilst in public. And that's it, folks. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Be safe and stay focused. <laughs>